All right, it is time for Ashley Scores. Let's go ahead and start on the football field with the Jacksonville Jaguars facing off against the Kansas City Chiefs. Take a look at this. Oh, man. All right, so here's what happened. In the fourth quarter with just minutes left, the Chiefs' Jalen Watson intercepted a pass from Trevor Lawrence. Jacksonville attempted to recover the onside kick with 25 seconds left, but the Chiefs picked up the ball, leading them to their win. Kansas City wins 27-20. to The winner of the Bengals-Bills game will face off against the Chiefs next week. The Cincinnati Bengals take on the Buffalo Bills today at noon. And the stage is set for the San Francisco 49ers to take on the Dallas Cowboys today at 3.30. And whoever wins will take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Look at that. My goodness. Minutes into the game, the Eagles' Jalen Hurts pass to Dallas Goddard who made the one-handed catch and ran for a 16-yard touchdown. The Eagles took the game from there with a blowout win from Philadelphia. The, they beat the Giants 38-7. Jordan, I just turned the game off. I'm like, well, this is over. <laughs> and the sky over Sacramento was a little darker last night after Ooh. the Philadelphia 76ers handed the Kings one of the most surprising defeats this season. Philadelphia fell behind by 21 points in the second quarter, but then the 76ers fought for an undefeated road trip and clawed their way back into the game. Kings finished with just 25 defensive rebounds for the game, which is not good. The 76ers took the win 129 to 127. This game was the Kings first defeat in two weeks, ending a six game winning streak that helped them jump up to the third place in the Western Conference. This is a game, Jordan, I was standing in front of my TV with my no. hands on my head, I think the entire fourth quarter. I'm like, I'm surprised no one had a heart attack oh. with that game. It oh was my crazy. goodness, that was the most crazy game. I watched the last two minutes. Did you? So well, was... Okay, I'm proud of you. <laughs> my heart was pounding. And Pretty hard. <laughs> and saving the best for last, our favorite sports stories always come from our Good Day viewers. This is Audrey Cardina. She plays for the YMCA in Woodland. You can see her running towards the ball and across the field, dodging her teammates. Audrey makes it to the end of the field and scores a goal. That's what we like to hear. Way to go, Audrey. Listen, we love to show off your favorite athlete, so send in those local sports stories for our segment. Make sure it is a video. It's a video. Email those videos to awilliams at kmaxtv.com and we'll run it on Ashley School. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't follow sports a lot, but I do want to mention today uh, the biggest big wave competition is happening in Hawaii in two hours. The Eddie Aikau okay. Big Wave Invitational is happening. Uh, if you think take the camera real fast, though, so, uh, it's the 34th year, and in the 34 years, it has only run only nine times because conditions have to be perfect. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Four, 40 foot waves are expected today. 40 surfers from around the world were invited. That's so on your PC. What are we looking at on your uh, PC? This is uh, a live look at Waimea Bay right now. Okay. Uh, surfers will be getting ready to get out there and enjoy that big competition. You can watch it online as well if you are interested in uh, catching the big Eddie Aikau Surf Invitational. It's happening on Oahu's North Shore this morning. All right.